how do you make these characters your own when there's so much sort of lore to pull from? And there's, there's always going to be, you know, that guy in the comments who's like, ah, things are different. <laughs> no, we don't have any of this. He's watching people. this now. Too. We have none of this. And he's typing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, it's, it's, I mean, there's always going to be someone um, or someone's uh, who will uh, have a different idea. That's the beauty of adapting a book, especially when adapting books. Everyone has their own a mental imagery of what a character looks like or how they behave or what they sound like. And it's about just going all in and making it what you think it is. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's not necessarily conforming to what every single person says on the internet because then you'll lose because everyone says something different and it's different for everyone. You just provide what your insight to the character is and who you believe they are and you go from there.